A green ghost from the stars is racing towards Earth. It's not a myth, not a rumor anymore. A real interstellar comet glowing brighter every night. And scientists are watching because 3 i Atlas is about to make its closest pass yet. Big news for stargazers. A comet making its way through our solar system, apparently growing a tail. So what does that mean, huh? My next guess is a 40% chance that it is alien technology. I Atlas is the comet that's making a quick one and done tour of the solar system. 3i Atlas is only the third confirmed object to visit our corner of the cosmos from another star. It did zip harmlessly past Mars last month, and NASA has been quick to dispel rumors that 3i Atlas might be an alien ship. The alert came from a deep space observatory in Chile a string of code that made no sense. An object designated 3i Atlas, an interstellar visitor, thought to be on a predictable path, had just performed an impossible maneuver. It defied the laws of gravity. Now every major telescope on the planet is turning to track it, and a horrifying new trajectory has been calculated. The data confirms our worst fears. The Manhattan-sized object is no longer a scientific curiosity. It's an incoming threat, and the scientists who discovered its new path are now terrified. The object that broke the rule in the vast, silent theater of space, a new actor took the stage. It was first spotted by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, in Hawaii. A faint smudge of light moving against the backdrop of distant stars. Its designation was technical, almost boring. 3i ATLAS. The 3i meant it was only the third interstellar object ever detected. But this was no ordinary visitor. As astronomers gathered more data, a startling picture began to emerge. You see, the first thing that set 3i Atlas apart was its sheer unbelievable size. Early brightness calculations suggested that if this was a solid rocky object, it had to be at least 12 miles in diameter. That's a rock larger than Manhattan Island, hurtling through the void. To put that into perspective, the previous two interstellar visitors, including the famous Oumuamua, were hundreds of times smaller, barely the size of a city block. The odds of an object this massive just randomly showing up in the tiny window of time we've been looking are astronomically low. Statistically, we should only expect to see a rock of this size drift through our neighborhood once every 10,000 years, maybe even longer. So for this to be the third one we find, was to put it mildly, suspicious. The mainstream explanation was simple. It was a massive, ancient comet, a frozen relic from the birth of another star system, countless millennia ago. NASA was quick to put out a statement, calling it a comet, reassuring the public that it posed no threat and would remain over 150 million miles away. But not all things are what they seem. Many people are comfortable with simple explanations, but the universe is rarely simple. Top scientists, like Harvard's renowned astrophysicist Avi Loeb, pointed out that the official story had some serious holes. For one, 3i Atlas had no cometary tail. As a comet gets closer to the sun, its ice should heat up, creating a brilliant tail of gas and dust, stretching for millions of miles. Hubble, the most powerful space telescope ever built, was aimed at the object. Its high-resolution images showed no tail. Instead, it saw something even stranger, a faint, ethereal glow that seemed to precede the object, moving ahead of it toward the sun. This was unheard of, a unique signature that didn't fit the profile of any comet ever observed. The object was also moving at a blistering 41 miles per second, twice as fast as the fastest rockets humanity has ever launched. The story was starting to fall apart, and then the new data came in. A routine observation from an observatory in the Andes Mountains detected a minute, almost imperceptible change in its path. It was a deviation so small that at first it was dismissed as an error, but then another observatory in Australia confirmed it. And another, the new data was undeniable. 3i Atlas was no longer on its predicted course. It was moving. Something had just altered the path of a Manhattan-sized object in deep space. A course for collision. The thing nobody tells you about orbital mechanics is that it's a science of beautiful, unforgiving precision. Objects in space follow paths dictated by gravity and nothing else. They don't make sharp turns. 
They don't speed up on their own. They follow the elegant, curved lines carved into space-time by massive bodies like our sun. But 3i Atlas wasn't playing by those rules. Even before the new data came in, its trajectory was bizarrely perfect. Its path was aligned almost flawlessly with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where all the planets in our solar system orbit. The chances of an interstellar object arriving with such a perfect alignment at random are just one in 500. It was as if it was deliberately flying down the main street of our solar system. This main street trajectory was also fine-tuned for a grand tour. Its path was calculated to take it unusually close to Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. A cosmic sightseer, hitting all the major landmarks. The odds of a random trajectory allowing for so many close planetary flybys were 1 in 20,000. It was for all intents and purposes, a statistical impossibility. It was also moving in a retrograde orbit, meaning it was traveling in the opposite direction to all the planets. For a vessel wanting to deploy smaller probes, this is the ideal approach. It maximizes relative speed and allows for easier orbital insertion. The evidence for intelligent design was circumstantial, but it was piling up into a mountain of anomalies. Then the new data confirmed what some scientists had secretly feared. The slight deviation was not random. It was a controlled, non-gravitational acceleration, an engine burn. This wasn't the gentle, unpredictable outgassing of a comet. This was a deliberate course correction. World Space Age. The computers working for days, but the result was always the same. The new trajectory was unmistakable. Three, I Atlas had adjusted its path from a solar system flyby to a direct intercept course. Its new destination was the Earth-Moon system. A silent panic began to ripple through the global scientific community. The official narrative from NASA, that this was a harmless comet, was now a dangerous lie. This wasn't a visitor, it was an arrival. The question was no longer if it was artificial, but why it had just turned toward our planet. Scientists were officially terrified. The object wasn't just on an impossible path, it was on a collision course, at 41 miles per second. While the world slept, fed a steady diet of calming press releases about a distant comet, a secret, undeclared war was being waged in encrypted chat rooms and secure video conferences. The conversation had shifted from astronomical observatories to places like US Space Command in the Pentagon. The new data, now confirmed by military surveillance satellites, had changed everything. The public was seeing old comforting images of a blurry dot. But in classified briefings, analysts were looking at something else entirely. The faint glow preceding 3i Atlas was being resolved into unnatural energy signatures. They weren't the emissions of a comet. They were the telltale signs of an energy field, perhaps a shield or a form of exotic propulsion. Avi Loeb's theoretical Loeb scale, a ranking from zero for a purely natural object to 10 for a confirmed technological one, was no longer a thought experiment. It was a metric being used in real time by intelligence agencies. In a matter of days, 3i Atlas had shot up from a 4 to a 7, and it was still climbing. A 7 meant highly probable technological origin. With evidence of maneuvering, the terror among scientists wasn't just about a potential impact. It was about the intelligence behind it. An object moving at 41 miles per second is a cosmic bullet. Our planetary defense systems designed to track slow-moving asteroids years in advance, were useless. There was no missile we could launch, no weapon we could deploy, that could intercept something moving that fast with so little warning. Humanity was a pedestrian standing in the middle of a freeway, and a silent 12-mile-wide truck was flooring it. Frantic efforts were made to learn more. The James Webb Space Telescope was retasked on an emergency basis. Its planned observations of distant galaxies were cancelled, Every radio telescope on the planet, from Arecibo's successors to the giant arrays in China, began a coordinated effort to listen. They pointed their massive dishes at the approaching anomaly, scanning every frequency, hoping for a signal, a whisper, any sign of communication that could explain its terrifying intent. But all they heard was the cold, empty static of the void. The silence was, in many ways, more frightening than a threat would have been. It was the silence of a predator that doesn't need to announce its presence. The silence was deafening, and the world was completely unaware of the danger. What does it want? 
So let's take a step back and talk like regular people for a minute. For our entire history, we've stared up at the stars and asked if we are alone. The thing is, we always assumed the answer would come as a friendly radio signal, a cosmic hello. We never prepared for the answer to come in the form of a 12 mile wide object that has just turned and is heading directly for us. For decades, many people have believed we are the peak of intelligence in the universe. That arrogance seems almost suicidal now, doesn't it? Our entire species, with all our wars, our politics and our dramas, exists on a fragile blue marble. And we just got a wake-up call from the cosmos. And now we know what it's made of. During the frantic, secret retasking of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists did more than just confirm its path. They performed a spectrographic analysis, breaking down the sunlight reflecting off its surface. The results were not just impossible, they were terrifying. It is not made of rock or ice. Its surface is composed of a crystalline, metallic alloy that has no place in the natural universe. It shows a tensile strength millions of times greater than anything we can manufacture. Unlike the simple iron nickel found in asteroids, this material appears to be a metamaterial, actively reconfiguring itself on a quantum level to dissipate heat and radiation. Chillingly, Analysts went back to the faint data from our first interstellar visitor, Oumuama. The signals, once dismissed as sensor noise, showed a faint but identical spectrographic signature. This isn't just one object. This is a known technology, a calling card from a single, silent, and incredibly advanced civilization. This discovery only deepens the central question. What does it want? A civilization capable of manufacturing entire city-sized objects from impossible materials is likely billions of years older than we are. If they wanted to harm us, they wouldn't need a giant rock. They could send something small, biological, or something we can't even comprehend. So is it a message, or perhaps a delivery? What if the goal isn't to impact Earth, but to enter a stable orbit, to park a Manhattan-sized object in our sky? A permanent, silent moon that would shatter our society, our religions, and our very sense of place in the universe. Then the theories get even wilder. Some insiders whisper about the cosmic arc scenario. What if this isn't an invasion, but an evacuation? A desperate final act of a civilization, fleeing a dying sun. They aren't conquerors, they're refugees. And they're looking for the only viable lifeboat they can find and we're already sitting in it. A darker theory suggests the object is a terraformer, a planet killer and world builder in one, an automated machine designed to methodically scrub a planet of its native biology and reshape it for its masters. In this scenario, we aren't even the enemy, we're just an infestation, a microbial layer to be cleansed before the real work begins. An even stranger idea gaining traction is that this is our final exam, that its arrival is a test for the Great Filter, a cosmic barrier that stops civilizations from reaching a galactic stage. Our reaction, whether we unite in peace, descend into chaos, or lash out with our primitive weapons, is being judged, pass, and we might be welcomed, fail, and we might be deemed too dangerous and pruned from the cosmic tree. Perhaps the most profound theory is that of the cosmic gardener, what if an ancient intelligence seeded life on Earth eons ago, and 3 I Atlas is simply a tool of that intelligence returning to check on its garden? It's not here to harm us, but to observe. Or perhaps to introduce a catalyst to accelerate our evolution. But these are just theories. The most immediate and terrifying possibility remains the most direct one. Maybe the object itself is just a transport. What if its goal is to get close to Earth and release its cargo? a fleet of smaller, faster probes. The original trajectory, which seemed to avoid us, now feels like a calculated deception. It passed by the outer planets, perhaps gathering data, and only when it had a clear final run at the inner solar system did it reveal its true intent. It waited until it was too close for us to do anything about it. All the scientific debate is now over. The speculation about its motives is just noise. The new data has given us one cold, hard, terrifying fact. It is coming, and we are not ready. So, is this the end, or a violent new beginning for humanity? Is a silent, advanced intelligence coming to pass judgment? Let us know your theories below.
and don't forget to like and subscribe.